We've arrived at Big Sur Station and the first thing we need to do is complete a self-registration permit. Before beginning the hike, check the advisory board. Make sure you're up to date on everything you need to know, including fire restrictions and leave no trace principles. I think you slide it in. Ow. Slide it in. Oh, they're cool, man. <laughs> I am a dork. I cannot figure these things out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lift it. Oh. Mine looks huge. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can throw. By the way, guys, this is my friend Aureli. We've known each other for quite some time now, but we've actually never gone backpacking, so this will be our first time. Let's see how it goes. It's gonna be great. <laughs> the hike to Sykes Hot Springs from Big Sur Station is strenuous with a lot of elevation gain and loss. The trail will be challenging with water crossings, fallen trees, poison oak, and potential bear encounters. The trail can be exposed, so you'll want to start as early as possible to avoid the heat of the day. This kind of is sick. Do your Starbucks. <laughs> there are four wilderness campsites available along the Pine Ridge Trail. They're all first come, first serve, so make sure to get there early. There's a detour at the start of the hike. You'll need to cut through Pfeiffer Big Sur Campground. Once you reach the paved road, you'll take a right, keep walking until you reach Campsite 31, which connects you to Pine Ridge Trail. I'm not even paying attention. Okay, what are you gonna do? if a mountain lion pops out <laughs> on the trail. I, What's your first instinct? Um, probably tell you first, that way we both know, and then try to get loud and big. <laughs> Would you scream, like be loud, or be quiet? Um, I think ideally I'd be quiet if it didn't see me yet. And if it saw me then, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe try to back away quietly, if not, I guess you gotta be loud, dude. That's the only way. <laughs> yeah. Know. Grab the biggest rock and just start throwing rocks and shouting at it in hopes that it runs away. In the event that it does charge, which is rare, we'll use these sticks. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. I was hoping to see this and it's right here on the trail. How pretty is that? Indigenous people local to the Big Sur, the Esalen Nation, the first people of this land, continue to live in the areas they have for over 6,000 years and recently purchased back part of their homeland in Big Sur. Good to go. Oh gosh, I have no breath left in me. Terrace Creek Camp lies along Pine Ridge Trail. It's actually a really good resting point at mile five because there's toilets and water that you'll need to filter. And if you're new to backpacking, you should study how to properly poop in the woods away from water sources.
there's a ton of new growth trees growing next to this burnt sequoia. These redwoods, there was a massive fire out here five years ago, so the trail had been closed for that long. Um, and it's just so amazing to see all these new growth trees growing where the burnt ones are standing. Here's another one. So the bark on these trees are actually fire resistant, which is why if you hike along the California coast where there's been a recent fire, you, you'll notice that the trees are sometimes hollowed out. That's because they'll burn from the inside out. I still don't know how many more miles we have before we reach Sykes Camp. It looks like we're descending. We're getting closer to the end. It's 1.30 p.m. We started at 8.30. So we've been hiking for about five hours now. All right, we've reached Barlow Flat Camp, which means we're super close to Sykes. If you're unsure on whether you're going the right way, just look out for the red tags. It'll show you that you're going the right way since you'll have to pass multiple river streams to get to the camps. Always use caution. The river can become impassable during winter and spring due to high swift water. Today looks like a good day, so we'll be okay. Rocks are slippery. Crossing. The trail does not look obvious from this point, but if you look straight ahead, there's a fallen tree straight in front of a rally. That's the path you're going to take. my stretches, my lower back stretches. All right, I'm so sick of these bugs. I decided to put on my net. How do I look? The top looks ridiculous. Wait, is this the, is this the flat part? No. Oh. <laughs> oh. It was just on the side. Wait, does it look right now? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay. It is keeping him away. I don't care how ridiculous I look, it's working, so it's staying on. And we got like two miles left or something. Don't see me on the bike, so. We're fucking here! We did it! Sykes Camp! <laughs> Alright, we've made it to the spring. Now, we have to walk a little bit further to get to the campsites. We'll set up 
and go from there. There aren't too many mosquitoes out here. We haven't been bit, but there are a ton of gnats out here. I took off my head net. I don't know why. Yeah. Now I'm gonna check on Arelli. Let's see her setup. Why? Are they like too thin or something? What's that? And this is a pretty good one. Oh. I just crushed too hard and there was a rock. Oh. Yeah. Because my other ones are like ultra light, so those bend easily. But this one looks like a good one, and I just fucked it up. So I'm just gonna use a rock to straighten it out. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Always check fire restrictions before you go. During our stay, fires and campstones were allowed with a fire permit, but this can change any time, especially during fire season. I forgot to show you what I made for dinner, so here's what I'm having for breakfast. Homemade oats with freeze-dried strawberries, just adding the hot water. There's also almonds, cocoa powder, and protein powder. All right, so we are on our way out. It's 10 miles in, 10 miles out. We did not find the hot springs. We looked. We hiked an extra mile along the river. We could not find the hot springs. They're not out here. They no longer exist. The U.S. Forest Service dismantled them and we couldn't even find the hot water. So there's the update. We are heading back home. Thanks for watching, guys. It's still worth it to come out here because the water is amazing and there's some really nice creeks to go swimming out here. If you're looking for a long hike in Big Sur and something more secluded, it's definitely died down now that the hot springs are no longer out here.